Imagine a game so intense it has been described as a battlefield where warriors clash in a battle of strategy, skill, and sheer willpower. This isn't just any game, it's football. The National Football League, or NFL to be exact. But how did this incredible sports empire, watched by millions every Sunday, come to be? Today we're diving into the history of the NFL, from its humble beginnings to becoming a powerhouse in American culture. I'm ZT, and this is the No Brainer. To truly appreciate the NFL as it is today, we have to travel back to a time before multi-million dollar contracts, dazzling halftime shows, and instant replay. We're going back to 1920 to a small car dealership in Canton, Ohio. Picture a room full of men in suits, cigars in hand, huddled together to discuss something revolutionary. It was here that the American Professional Football Association, APFA, was born. And with it, the seeds of what would become the NFL were planted. But what brought these men together? And why did they think this new league would succeed when so many others had failed before? Here's the whole story. And this is where it gets interesting. In the 20th century, football was still a relatively young sport. College football was immensely popular, but professional football? Not so much. The idea of paying someone to play a game was still seen as a novelty, and the teams that existed were loosely organized and poorly managed. Enter Jim Thorpe, a Native American athlete who is not only an Olympic gold medalist, but also one of the greatest football players of his time. Thorpe's star power helped draw attention to the fledgling league, where he was named the first president of the APFA. But while Thorpe's fame brought legitimacy, it wasn't enough to guarantee success. In those early years, the league was a bit of a mess. Teams came and went, schedules were chaotic, and the rules were still being figured out. It wasn't until 1922 when the league changed its name to the National Football League, NFL, that things began to stabilize. The NFL now had a name, but it still lacked the structure and popularity it needed to truly take off. This brings us to the 1930s, a decade that would shape the NFL in ways that no one could have predicted. The Great Depression was in full swing, and many teams were struggling financially. But out of this hardship, two key developments would emerge that would change the league forever. First, the NFL defied decided to split into two divisions with the winners of each meeting in a championship game. This was the birth of what we know now as the NFL playoffs. Second, the NFL began to embrace innovation. In 1933, the league introduced the forward pass as a regular part of the game, a move that opened up the field and made the game more exciting. The NFL was no longer just a run-heavy, grinded-out league. It was becoming a spectacle, a show that people wanted to watch, and this was just the beginning. But the NFL's rise to fame wasn't without its challenges. Just as a league was finding its footing, another rival emerged, the All-American Football Conference, AAFC. The AAFC was a serious contender, attracting top talent and putting pressure on the NFL to up its game. The two leagues went head-to-head -head for several years, but in the end, the NFL proved too strong. In 1949, the two leagues merged with three AAFC teams, the Cleveland Browns, San Francisco 49ers, and Baltimore Colts, joining the NFL. This merger not only expanded the league, but also brought in a new level of competition that would elevate the NFL to new heights. Around this time, the NFL was also starting to make waves on television. In 1958, a game that would go down in history as the greatest game ever played took place. The New York Giants faced off against the Baltimore Colts in the NFL championship game. And for the first time, millions of Americans watched the drama unfold live on their TV screens. The game went into sudden death overtime, with the Colts ultimately winning 23-17. This game is often credited with launching the NFL into the national spotlight as it showcased the drama, excitement, 
and unpredictability that has come to define the sport. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to The No Brainer. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment below if there's a topic or event you'd like covered in a future episode. As the 1960s rolled in, the NFL faced yet another challenge. This time, it was the American Football League, AFL, a new league that was determined to compete with the NFL. The AFL was innovative, introducing things like the two-point conversion and signing big-name college players to lucrative contracts. The competition between the NFL and AFL was fierce, and by the mid-60s, it was clear that a merger was inevitable. In 1966, the two leagues announced their plans to merge, with the merger being fully completed by 1970. As part of the merger agreement, a championship game between the two leagues was established. You know it as the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl quickly became the biggest event in American sports with millions tuning in each year to watch the best of the best battle out on the field. But it wasn't just about the game. It was about the spectacle. The commercials, the halftime show, everything about the Super Bowl was larger than life. And it all started with a simple idea. Let's see who's the best. But as the NFL grew in popularity, it also faced its share of controversies, from labor disputes to scandals involving players and coaches. The league has had to navigate some rough waters over the years. One of the most significant challenges came in the form of player safety. As the game became faster and more physical, the risk of injury, especially head injuries, became a serious concern. In the early 2000s, the NFL came under fire for its handling of concussions and other long-term health issues faced by former players. This led to a major overhaul in how the league addressed player safety with new rules, equipment, and protocols put in place to protect the athletes who put their bodies on the line each week. Despite these challenges, the NFL has continued to thrive. Today, it's not just a sport, it's a cultural phenomenon. From the iconic stadiums to the passionate fan bases, the NFL has become a symbol of American culture. And with the rise of fantasy football and new technologies that bring fans closer to the action than ever before, the NFL shows no signs of slowing down. So, from a small car dealership in Canton, Ohio, to the billion-dollar industry it is today, the NFL's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. It's a story of innovation, competition, and resilience. Thanks for tuning into The No-Brainer. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the description for more content. Catch you in the next episode.